Hi students, welcome to Target IES. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today, let us talk about a very important topic, but a very simple one because this is just an extension for plastic analysis. I hope you are perfect in plastic analysis, right? Uh, even if you haven't completed plastic analysis, just watch this video. After that, go back and just open the book of plastic analysis. And if you have any doubts, you will get it clear or else obviously you can ask me and I will clear your doubts. Now coming to this topic of beams which was left from our modules of steel structures. I am finishing it right now. So this topic beams in some textbooks it is also given as design of flexor members. Okay? So in some textbooks it will be just given as chapter name beams. In some textbooks it will be given as design of flexor members. So what is this flexor member? Yeah, flexor ka matlab hota hai bending. You know this very well right? You know this very well. Flexure ka matlab hota hai bending. So bending member, a member which is subjected to bending, we are going to analyze in this particular uh, chapter. Okay. So how to define this beam first of all? Let us try to understand how to define this flexure member. Let us try to understand. See, we have studied columns recently, right? In columns, the load try to passes through its longitudinal axis. Agreed or not? Load try to passes along its longitudinal axis. But if the load is acting transverse to it, okay, if I have a member, if a load is acting transverse to it, then this type of members, we call it as flexor members. I hope it is very clear, right? Because when the loading is like that, transverse to it, we will be having a deflection like this, or you can say bending like this. And because of this, lot of stresses are going to generate. And in a in this particular chapter, we are going to analyze it. Okay. So first, let us try to understand what are the various types of beams we have. What are the various type of beams we have? See, in construction, we use different types of beams. Not necessarily that all these beams will be present in one particular building. Okay. It necessarily not that all types of beams are building in every building. But uh, this or the various types of beams we generally have or generally use while construction. I hope it is very clear. So let us see the first one which is joist. Joist care. See if you are uh, going to some old home, let us say you went to your grandparents home which is quite old, let us say 50 years, 60 years or even older, then you will observe something that columns to rang, right? Upper jo roof aata hai na, Roof ke niche, there will be, there will be some beams running parallel to your roof, right? Dekha hoga aapne. Uh, I have seen houses in which there will be something wooden beams running parallel to uh, the roof, okay? Very old houses. So those I am calling as choice. It could be of wooden, it could be of steel, it could be of anything, okay? Even if you want RCC, you can cast it. So these beams which are actually supporting your roof, I am calling as joist. I hope it is very clear, right? So what is the joist? Small beam supporting roof of the structure. And all these beams, joist, at the ends, they have to be supported, right? First, there will be some beams. On this, we will be having this joist and this joist will be supporting my roof. I hope it is very clear, right? So these beams, which are like this, on which the joists are supported, I am calling them as kidder. Okay? The number of joists are supported by a large beam and I am calling this large beam as kidder. I hope it is very clear for you. Koi problem nahi hai Next is pandrel. What is this pandrel? See, it is present below the floor. Okay? So to take the load of floor as well as external walls, we will be having pandrel. So we will see a diagram, so you will understand. So let's see columns right? So this is your floor system, right? I hope you got it. Floor of a particular level. So you can see all the floor load is being transferred to these beams. As well as here, what is the wall? Rehta, right? So here, what is the wall? Rehta. So wall load is also falling on this beam. So the beams which are actually taking our floor load as well as this uh, wall load, we are calling them as spandrel beam. Okay? We are calling them as spandrel beam. Load of floor plus external wall. We are talking about only external wall, not internal walls. Okay. So, because external wall, you know, they are much thicker. They are little bit heavier compared to that of internal walls. So, that's why we are talking about this panel in specific. I hope it is very clear. And then we have purlins. Purlins kya hota? See, if you are seeing the roof truss. Okay. 
so there you can clearly see members which are learning throughout my trust right so these members i am calling as perlets right ye members ko hum kehte hai perlets yaad rakh lo galti mat karna because we are going to study this also at the end of this uh, chapter aur ek kaam karunga ek separate video banaunga in which i will be discussing the trusses topic because it could be helpful for, uh, to you in some स्टेट पी एस सी और एस एस सी जे ई तो वो भी देखेंगे इट विल बी अ वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो ऑफ फाइव मिनट्स बिकॉज देर विल बी ओनली स्पेसिफिकेशन दैट वॉट शुड बी द डायमीटर वॉट शुड बी द स्पेसिंग ओके सो लाइक दैट पांच मिनट का टॉपिक रहेगा बस बट फॉर नाउ आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज परलिन राइट सो दीज थिंग्स विच आर पास विच आर थ्रू आउट माई ट्रस्ट स्ट्रक्चर आई एम कॉलिंग दैम एज परलिन ओके एंड दीज परलिन आर सपोर्टेड here right you can see it right so this i am calling as rafter these members are generally called as rafters and the perlins are the members which are running throughout matrix i hope it is very clear right itna hi nahi the various type of beams as you progress in your life jaise construction industry mein aage badhoge job karoge tab aapko aur bhi kahi zyada beams ke bare mein pata chalega see recently when i was designing a staircase for a building first time i heard स्ट्रिंगर बीम कभी नहीं सुना था मुझे तो कॉलेज में पढ़ा ही नहीं गया वॉट इज द स्ट्रिंगर बीम आई डोंट नो टर्मिनोलॉजी आ गई सडन से स्ट्रिंगर बीम अरे यार काफी सिंपल रहता है जस्ट लेट मी गूगल यू द फोटोज एंड शो यू वॉट इज स्ट्रिंगर बीम सो स्ट्रिंगर बीम आर दीज बीम्स विच पास थ्रू द स्टेर केस ओके इफ यू आर सींग द स्टेर केस सिस्टम इफ यू आर सींग अ स्टेर केस सिस्टम तो कैसे रहता है वो लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड देर विल बी अ बीम राइट देर विल बी अ सॉलिड बीम and there will be stairs on it right so in most of the public buildings also you see it so the beam which is supporting the stairs so we call them as stringer beam okay so like this there are lot of beams not only this many more but not necessary that all the type of beams we will be using in a structure what i have discussed are some basic beams which we see in day to day constructions and lintels ye kaise bhul sakte hai yaar kafi important hai a uh, very important one lintels see if there is any open opening in masonry for example window bana rahe ho theek hai so pehle to pura wall aa gaya theek hai pehle to pura wall aa gaya so whatever load is there it will be passing through it agreed or not but let us say when i construct a window i am opening something right i am opening a part of it so the load whatever was passing easily to the ground it will not pass now right wo yahi pe rahega तो यहाँ पे क्या चल रहा है स्ट्रेस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन चल रहा है अग्रीड और नॉट अग्रीड और नॉट इट इज नॉट पासिंग टू द बॉटम सो इट इज गेटिंग पास ओनली टिल हियर एंड हियर देर इज अ स्ट्रेस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द लोडिंग कमिंग फ्रॉम द अपर फ्लोर्स तो वहां पे क्या हो जाएगा वहां पे डेफिनेटली क्रैक हो जाएगा या टूट जाएगा सो टू अवॉइड दिस कंडीशन वॉट वी कैन डू इज सॉरी फॉर दैट वॉट वी कैन डू इज विल बी यूजिंग अ लिंटल बी on the windows on the doors what we will be doing is we will be using this lintel beam to dissipate the stresses i hope it is very clear right to yahan pe kya karte hain hum ek lintel beam rakh denge to jo bhi load aayega wo aaram se dissipate ho jayega as well as it will be re resisting this loads i hope it is very clear so this is the use of lintel so i hope you are very clear what is joist what is gidder what is pandal purlin and lintels see gidder ka requirement itna hi nahi hai below this topic at the end i will teach you gantry gidder and etc then you will understand this topic of gidder ki ek alag duniya hi hai so that all we will understand in this chapter itself okay so there are some important bits which could be asked directly to you uh, or indirectly in your state psc as well as asc so ek bar ye jo text maine likha hai na तो ये एक बार ध्यान से पढ़ना बिकॉज आउट ऑफ दिस सिक्स लाइन्स यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट अ वन बिट डेफिनेटली टू कम ओके इफ अ क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम स्टील स्ट्रक्चर्स इन स्मॉल एग्जाम्स आउट ऑफ दिस सिक्स पॉइंट्स वन क्वेश्चन कैन कम वेरी हाई पॉसिबिलिटी सी यू नो दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी वेल द मोस्ट एफिशियंट एंड एक्नॉमिक शेप फॉर कैरिंग हेवियर लोड्स इज आई सेक्शन आई सेक्शन क्या है काफी एफिशियंट है एंड it could be either rolled steel or built up what is the difference between rolled steel i section and built up i section are yaar kuch bhi nahi hai kafi simple hai if you want to construct i section right now in your house what you will do you will take three members we will use one member as a web and two members as flanges agreed or not to ban gaya aapka i section agreed or not simple si topic hai 
वेब एंड फ्लेंजेस एड कर दोगे एंड यू विल बी वेल्डिंग हियर एंड यू विल बी गेटिंग योर आई सेक्शन सी लेट मी टेल यू वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वाइल यू ग्रो अप एंड वर्क समवेयर सो यू शुड नो हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट द वेल्डिंग ऑल्सो राइट सो ये जो वेल्ड है सो यू विल बी जस्ट पॉइंटिंग आउट आ एरो एंड हियर यू विल बी ड्रॉइंग अ ट्राइंगल ठीक है a triangle and write 8 mm this means that you have used a welding technique to join these two members flange and web and the thickness of this weld is 8 mm i hope you got it so if there is something like this double triangle iska matlab hai it is welded on the both sides yahan pe bhi aapne weld kiya yahan pe bhi aapne weld kiya i hope you got it so these are simple terminologies might not be important for your exam but it will definitely help you some or somewhere in your life right so Let us continue this topic. Why I section is more efficient? And one more thing, yar, what is this rolled steel I section? Build up, so you understand, right? So you just join the plates, weld it, and you will be getting your build up section. So what is this rolled steel section? See, while casting only in industry, while casting only, you are casting in a shape of I. Then I will be calling it as rolled steel section. Rolled steel section me, jo depth of web hai, wo top to bottom rehta hai. Thik hai? It is casted in such a way. That this entire section is actually acting as a web. That is our advantage. In build-up section, the web, whatever the depth of web you are having, right? It should be only this. Obviously, but right. So that is a minor difference between rolled steel and built-up bars. Both are good. Both can be used because rolled steel, you it can't come in all the shapes and sizes which we want, right? So obviously, we go for built-up I section. Okay. बिल्टअप बाई सेक्शन करने के बाद आपको लगता है कि इट इज नॉट सफिशियंट एनफ इन कैरियंग द मोमेंट और लोड देन वॉट वी डू वी एड एक्स्ट्रा प्लेट्स ऑन द टॉप ऑल्सो ओके सो ऐसे भी हम कर सकते हैं यू कैन एड एक्स्ट्रा प्लेट्स टू इंक्रीज इट्स मोमेंट ऑफ रेसिस्टेंस यू कैन डू लाइक दैट ऑल्सो ठीक है इफ मोर लोड इज कमिंग एंड द मोमेंट विच हैज टू टेक इज इवन फर्दर मोर देन वी कैन बिल्ट अप द सेक्शन एज पर आर रिक्वायरमेंट वो भी हम पढ़ाई करेंगे इसी इसी चैप्टर में एंड यू विल बी मोर देन क्लियर बट आई होप यू गॉट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट राइट वॉट इज रोल्ड स्टील आई सेक्शन एंड बिल्टअप आई सेक्शन एंड नाउ टेल मी दिस पॉइंट वाई आई हैव टोल्ड द मोस्ट एफिशियंट एंड एक्नॉमिकल शेप्स आर आई सेक्शन आई सेक्शन में क्या होता है मेटीरियल तो बसता है इफ आई हैव The entire section as rectangle, obviously it will be more expensive. इतना steel चाहिए इतना weight चाहिए of material. So obviously I section is economical. Is it efficient? Yes, it is efficient. Why? If you are drawing bending stress diagram, bending stress तो सब जानते हैं right? How the bending stress will be? Bending stress uh, will be something like this. It will be more in external fibers, right? Compared to inner fibers. we all have seen this diagram from the very first chapter in rcc as well as steel structures right so where the moment is more where the bending stresses is going to be more so there i have more material in i section to easily resist kar lega right samajh mein aa raha hai na concept so this is the main ethics why we are calling this i section is economical and efficient and one more thing the i value the moment of inertia kya hai kafi zyada hai for my i section right always remember compare to a regular rectangle i'm really sorry for this compare to regular rectangle or square obviously my i section has more moment of inertia as moment of inertia is more what is happening you know right for bending member for for a flexor member we have a formula m by i is equals to f by y so f hota hai mera stress stress zyada nahi lena chahiye एवरी वन नोज दिस अगर आप भी स्ट्रेस ज्यादा लोगे तो क्या होगा नेगेटिव प्रोडक्टिविटी हो जाएगी राइट स्ट्रेस मत लो वर्क हार्ड बट स्ट्रेस मत लो राइट मैनेज योर स्ट्रेस वेल बहुत सारे वीडियोज है यूट्यूब में हाउ टू मैनेज इफ यू आर फेसिंग एनी प्रॉब्लम मैनेज इट वेल मैनेज योर टाइम टेबल वेल सो दैट यू वोट बी स्ट्रेस अगर स्ट्रेस करोगे क्या क्या हो जाएगा आप भी बीम के तरह टूट जाओगे किसी ना किसी में तो अगर बीम को नहीं टूटना है तो क्या करना है स्ट्रेस को कम रखना है स्ट्रेस को कम कैसे रखोगे हाउ टू कीप द स्ट्रेस लो ऑब्वियसली वी हैव टू इंक्रीज समर समथिंग सी मोमेंट इज कमिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द लोडिंग राइट लोडिंग तो रहेगा ही रहेगा अ मेंबर इज डिजाइन इन सच ए वे टू टेक पर्टिकुलर लोडिंग एंड दिस लोडिंग इज क्रिएटिंग दिस हेम यू कॉन्ट चेंज इट सो नेक्स्ट वैल्यूज वॉट यू कैन चेंज इज दिस थिंग राइट तो हम क्या करेंगे वी आर इंक्रीजिंग माई आई वैल्यू इन सच अ वे दैट माई स्ट्रेसेस विल बी लो 
राइट सो एज मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज हाई राइट और I by y we can write it as z right sectional modulus. The sectional modulus of a I section is more compared to that of a regular rectangular section. So that's why I can say there will be less stresses being developed in I section and it will be more safer. I hope the concept is very clear for you. यहाँ तक तो समझ में आ गया है ना? So let me erase all this and continue the topic. So there are some more bits. Okay, आप एक बार देख लेना. Simply रहेंगे. See angle and T sections we won't use it because they will be obviously weak in bending when compared to that of I section. तो हम ज़्यादा use नहीं करेंगे direct construction में. Okay, so we will be basically using angles का main role रहेगा to connect two members, right? Something like that. T section, yes, we use T section. So basically in lintels we use T sections. Okay, see this double angles or T sections we basically use in lintel beams. Okay, so and this is a very important bit. For heavier loads, obviously, which shape will be going for I section, right? And mostly will be going for built-up I section because we will not get exact in shape and requirement this rolled steel bar. So what we have to do, we have to go for built-up. Okay, the length of the depth of it, whatever we want, the thickness, whatever we want. So obviously, we'll be casting as per our requirement. That's why a built-up I section is preferred when it comes to a heavier load cases. And especially while constructing bridges, I hope it is very clear, right? ये जो bit है, ये शायद आपको अभी नहीं समझ नहीं आएगा when laterally unsupported, okay? This term laterally unsupported, I will discuss in module two. What is laterally supported and laterally unsupported? तब ये point आपको ज़्यादा clear रहेगा. Now let us not uh, stress on this point. In next module, I will discuss completely on this laterally supported and laterally unsupported, and then we will revisit this bit. And Selection of beam section is based on what section modulus. काफी important bit है. Give it five star. My favorite bit. If you have to select a beam, you will be selecting based on what section modulus. So, in simple, if a loading is given, we will find out. Okay, what is the section modulus required to resist thus that moment? Whatever the moment is being caused because of that loading, we will find out what is the section modulus required. to resist that moment and we will select a beam i section for example you have given four options ismb islb ishb so and so and you will be given some values for it z1 z2 z3 z4 you will select such that this whatever value is more than the required section modulus based on the section modulus only you will be deciding for which beam you have to go okay सेक्शन मॉड्यूलस क्या रहना चाहिए इट शुड बी मोर कंपेयर टू द सेक्शन मॉड्यूलस व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड सेकंड फैक्टर विल बी वेट लेट अस से देयर आर टू सेक्शन मॉड्यूलस z1 एंड z2 क्या हो गया ये दो बीम्स का लेस था लेस देन लेस देन दिस z सो वी आर इग्नोरिंग इट लेट अस से दिस z3 एंड z4 आर मोर देन z ठीक है टू केसेस आर मोर देन व्हिच बीम यू विल सेलेक्ट यू विल सी द वेट्स ओके इफ दीस टू बीम्स कैन रेसिस्ट मोर Okay, then what you will see, we'll be seeing the weight because we have to see the economy. Steel, how does it come? How does it get? It comes as per the weight, right? You have to pay the price as per the weight. So obviously, I will select whichever has the less weight. If it is saying 30 uh, kilonewton per meter and here 35 kilonewton per meter, so obviously I will go for this one. Z3 will be the beam of my preference, and using this. a beam which is having a section modulus of z3 i will be going for construction so that's it for today's module because in the next module i am going to teach type of section which will take easily 20 minutes to understand kafi simple rahega i will explain you in a very simple manner and you will definitely understand and never make a mistake so next module kafi important hai and if a question comes it should be mostly from this topic okay have a nice day see you in module number 2